Five hours to daylight, we're on the reef. Bow section. The bow section is fine. The aft can't quite say it's the same. What you just heard was a bit of cracking. Uh, behind the bulkhead doors behind me, there is zero boat left. Rudders are gone. The aft section is fucked. Um, <laughs> yeah. But um, everybody's safe and we're just going to sit tight and I think it's going to be alright. I think at the moment the safest place for us is still here on the boat. Yep. Yep. Sure. Um, we're going to check out the tide charts to see tide increases and, and it would make it safer for an exit out the back of the boat to the lagoon. Yep. I think it's too dangerous having to go out over the front trying Agreed. to swim out through breaking waves. Yep. Yep. Agreed. So we just uh, we gonna hold off abandon the ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just following yeah. past it keeps us going. Dry island us and now so we we go. the life rest and abandon the ship. Now holding on to life rest. I just wonder where the you know, yeah. We're going to try and clean up the boat as much as possible, get, get the uh, environmentally dangerous uh, gear off, and then we're going to. Um, uh, do the best we can to salvage, salvage what's left of it. So we'll go have a look now and um, start the process. The other night was for sure that the it was definitely the toughest night of my life, and for sure I think the same for the guys. Um, you know, we, we hit, hit the reef hard doing 19 knots and, you know, the impact's undescribable, um, what it's like. It's now just, now the process for, for us is now to, um, is to regroup in the next few days and try and, try and see what the future can hold for us. Um, it'll be, you know, I, I just feel like we can't let this team stop, so... We'll, we'll see where we can get to in the next few days. Um, how this happened is a um, result of human error. 
unfortunately and tragic, you know, I'd prefer to be able to say there's something wrong with the boat or something wrong with the equipment, but that's not the case. In this instance, when he looked at the seamounts that, that, that I'd asked about that we were going over, um, looked and on the first look, or even I think it's the second look, if you pan in on the seamounts, it just shows a 40 metre 40 metre depth from say 3,000 to 40 and that was the that was the depth information tragically that he that he gave me um, and that's what I operated with and that's what I told the guys with and and that's the mistake simple mistake um, you need to kind of go down a couple more layers um, until you find out apparently that, that, that there's there's land. Yeah, you know, as Scoopy, Scoopy end up with ultimate responsibility, but below that there's different sections of where people take individual control of those areas. The, one of these areas was the breakdown that, that let this happen. Yeah, and, and, and in, as a skipper you have to, you know, you cannot be, you cannot be 100% on top of every role. You have to trust the individual. It's no different to any organisation, any business and any other team in the world. It, it's just the same. You have to place that trust in the individuals to do, to do their role.